We're going to uh, very briefly talk about tagging. I am a, uh, a um, what's a good word? Avid tagger. I'm a avid, an advocate for tagging your avid image. Avid proponent. Proponent of tagging, as a matter of fact. And I saw that Matt on his blog. What is your blo- blog site? Uh, www.mattmirage.com. Uh, M-A-R-R-A-S-H. Yes, M-A-T-M-A-R-R-A-S-H.com. Uh, Matt had a blog about tagging, and I asked him if I could swipe it and put it on the FPP blog, which he said, great. It even looked better that way. Oh, so. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I can't tell you how important it is for tagging, because you see, everyone that's shooting, whether you're shooting film or digital, you, get your, you put your film, let's say, on a platform like Flickr, mm. and most photographers want to be noticed. They want their images to be seen, they want to be uh, acknowledged as a photographer. Mm-hmm. They want someone to understand and look at their art. But many fail, sadly, I have to say, even in the FPP, Flickr group, mm. are failing to add any information with their upload that enables a person looking to find their images. Yeah, it's not that their image isn't good. It's just not tagged. Uh, do you know what a tag is? Can you explain a little bit? Yeah, a tag is, some people call it meta tags, and in Flickr there's just regular tags. And it's just um, data that's added to your, your image file, and it's in, there's a little, there's a little um, line for description or tags of it. And you just enter keywords, and those are keywords that people would search to find your, wor- uh, your, find your work. So if it was taken with a Canon AE-1, you could tag Canon AE-1. And there's a couple different ways about tagging. Like there's people put phrases in or you can put individual words. And I just tell people if you want to get the simplest form of tags, just the individual words. Because people aren't going to search long specific phrases like film photography taken with a Canon AE-1. Nobody searches that whole phrase. They'll search AE-1. So make sure that's a tag and make sure your film's a tag. And if if it's a girl with puppy, little girl with puppy works. That's that's a good tag. It gets tricky though, because if you, if you type in Canon AE one, Canon, AE, and one will show up as different. Yes, unless you tag it with a parenthesis. Pare- you put a parenthesis around. Oh, really? Beginning. Or not print. Or multiple, quotes. Sorry. If quotes. it's more quotes. than one word. Oh, quotes. I'm yeah, sorry. if it's more than one word. So if you want film photography podcast in there, you type quote film photography podcast end quote, and you're you're all set. And when you're doing groups of images. Right when you upload them, it even says, would you like to tag your images? Mm-hmm. And you can do one line, and you click a button, and it applies it to all those. So it's it's pretty helpful that way. And it's easy. It takes an extra 10 seconds. People spend, I said this in the blog post, but people spend hours and hours playing Farmville at work. You can spend 10 seconds <laughs> and tag your images. That's all mm-hmm. it takes. I, I, I can't stress enough how important tags are. How do you feel, John? I feel it's most important. Yeah, you're fil- are your images tagged? No. <laughs> <laughs>